Welcome back to another weekly vlog. It is actually Friday the 6th of September so it's quite a few days into the week. This week's been quite crazy for me. I'm in the middle of doing an opera so it's just lots of rehearsals and tonight's our first concert or I guess first show is a better word. But yeah this week's been really really busy so hence why I haven't really started vlogging a bit earlier in the week. But today as you would have seen I did a big declutter of my wardrobe because it is now spring here in Australia so it's time for me to switch over all my clothes. So I did what I call like a kind of clothing stock take you could say. I went through every piece, sort of fixed a few things on some of the items. I had like little holes and things I needed to mend. Decided on a few pieces to get rid of so I put them in a bag to take to the charity shop and I also put all my wintry kind of clothes under my bed and then just reorganized my wardrobe. This is my uh, segment of the wardrobe here along this part. Alex's stuff is there and here's a few bits down there and I also use those drawers. Alex has a drawer under the bed which he uses for his stuff as well. Obviously with spring it's always a little bit hard because you've kind of got to have a bit of everything. Especially here in Melbourne spring's very very like uh, temperamental like we've had nearly 20 degrees and it's been gorgeous and then today it's like 13 and raining so I've got about 35 pieces set aside for like my day-to-day -day capsule I still have obviously my performance wear and stuff that's all kind of separate and a couple of just special occasion dresses which I've just popped under the bed because I just don't wear them that often but there are still one or two pieces that I want to go out and get but I also picked up a couple of new pieces already which I'll show you guys just to let you know this next portion of the video is sponsored by Lily Silk if you've been watching my channel for a while you know I did a couple of videos with Lily Silk about a year ago and I was so thrilled when they reached out and said do you want to work with us again this year. I have a couple of pairs of pyjamas from them and I absolutely love them. If you watch my vlogs regularly you'll see those navy blue piped pyjamas in nearly every single vlog. Like I'm always wearing them because they're so nice. They're great for summer and winter. Still get heaps and heaps of wear out of those but this time I decided to pick out some clothing items because there were a couple of things that I was really keen to get. I particularly wanted a white silk blouse with a V sort of neckline and thankfully Lily Silk had exactly what I was after. It's just a lot more of a feminine shape on me than a traditional kind of like business collar style shirt. It is very sheer so you obviously have to wear like something under it. I actually quite like the look of my bra showing through. I don't know if that anyone else is like that but I find it quite a cool look so I'm more than happy with it but just be aware the lighter colours obviously are quite sheer because it is like pure silk and I also picked up this little camisole as well it's got nice thick straps and I loved the white button detail on the front it's a little bit different even though I have like many 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 black camisoles especially silk ones this one is a little bit different to my other ones so I thought it'd be nice probably a little bit more of a piece for summer or as I say late spring or it's a great layering piece with like a cardigan on top so I absolutely love those two pieces I'll have a link to Lily Silk's website in the description below if you want to go check them out I'd highly recommend them if you are after some silk clothing or pajamas or there's even bedding and stuff as well there's such a huge range of different styles to choose from as well especially if you are after those more sort of like classic wardrobe staples it's definitely something I'm doing Gradually, it's sort of replacing all of my basics with really high quality natural fabrics like linen and silk and stuff. So these pieces are perfect for that and I'm really, really happy. But yeah, I'll have a link to Lily Silk below if you're interested in checking out what they've got to offer. Really happy with how my wardrobe is looking now. As you can see, I really do love black camisoles. Got a couple of t-shirts in there. I managed to fix my linen t-shirt from last year. It got a hole in it, so I just stitched it up. You can kind of notice it, but not actually when you're really wearing it. So that's handy. It's got a couple of t-shirts, got a couple of blouses, so that nice lily silk one that I just showed, and this one from Kukai. I have a couple of sort of sweaters and thin knits, as well as some cardigans. My leather jacket I pulled back out because it's a slightly lighter sort of coat option 
couple of blazers, couple of little dresses, some maxi dresses. So yeah, and then jeans and pants and stuff down the end here. These are Alex's tails, so they're just hanging down there because they need the long hang space. <laughs> As you can see, it is all very neutral. A uh, few little fun pieces and stuff in there, but it's mainly texture that I tend to play with, or like neutral prints. I don't like anything too bold. But I do have a couple of things, as I say, that I'm keen to grab next week. I think I'll go shopping. I just don't have time this weekend because I've got this opera and stuff on, but I've been doing quite a bit of online browsing and saving a few um, items that I'm interested in to my wish list so that I can go check them out next week. Hi. Hey. How are you? Me? I'm good. That's good. Looking about to make the dinner. <laughs> nice. You've been such a good house husband lately. Doing my best, yeah. <laughs> appreciate it. I nice. appreciate you. I love you. Love you too. Okay, so look what also arrived this week. New camera. So this is the new Canon PowerShot G7X Mark III. So the one that we film on normally is the Mark II and the reason yes. I decided to upgrade is this has so many cool new features But it's gonna be really handy a to have two cameras Double vlogging Double vlogging. I can't wait <laughs> But also this just has some really cool features like some amazing slow-mo Features you can live stream straight to YouTube with it Watch out very cool and the most exciting part. I think there it is Oh, 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 cool. it's so pretty. It actually looks like an old uh, camera. I know, because I bought the silver color this time. So my Mark II that you guys are watching this through yeah. uh, is all black. So I thought to make sure that we can tell them apart, because they still look quite similar. Um, I got the one with the silver. It's really pretty. It the other cool thing about this, you can actually put a mic into it now. So I can put a nice microphone in to get better quality sound if I want it. There's nowhere really to hang the mic or put the mic on, so I'm not quite sure how that will work. I guess a lapel mic or something would probably be best. I'll figure it out. Good morning, it is Saturday the 7th. I've just woken up, it's like 9 o'clock. <laughs> um, well, I woke up about an hour ago because I just got out of bed. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Had a bit of a lion because the opera went really late last night. I didn't get home till quarter to 11. Makes sense to have a bit of a lion. We've got a double show today, which is just exhausting. <laughs> The thought of it. This week's like my first clear free week since before I went to England. I have no sort of major plans or anything. I've got no performances to do. It's just a week where I can actually work on some of my projects and I've been trying to squeeze in and around everything for the last few months. Very much looking forward to that. And then the week after, as I say, we're going to Hobart for a couple of days. Last year in July, Alex and I went to Captain's Rest over in the west coast of Tasmania. And we've actually been invited to go to Captain's Cottage in Hobart, which is a very similar kind of Airbnb. Uh, we've been gifted very kindly a couple of nights to stay there and to take some photos for them for Instagram and also like, you know, I'll, it'll be in my vlog as well. <laughs> so if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely follow me. It's at Anna Elaine. I plan to get even more into Instagram over the next few months because now that I have a little bit more time and I've got some really good plans for it. So definitely go follow me there. I just redid all the thumbnails for my highlights as well so that they're all kind of in my YouTube color. Branding is kind of consistent between the platforms. I think it looks really nice. Let me know what you think. Um, and I group all my highlights in months. So you can go back to January and like watch through my January highlights or February highlights and see like what I was kind of up to and doing back there. I don't necessarily save every single story that I post, but I save like the big things. So March is a really nice one for me to go back and watch because that's like the beginning of the March highlight is when I handed my PhDs. It's like so special to go back and re-watch those highlights. I really love categorizing them in months. I'm just making some coffee as you can hear. I'm gonna have some breakfast. I'm gonna maybe try and do a bit of editing this morning. I have to leave the opera in about three hours. I also need to have a shower and make myself look nice. That'll take up like a whole hour. But yeah, I should be able to still get a bit of time to do some work. And I'm thinking we're gonna have a couple of hours off in between the operas because the first one will finish around four and then I don't have to be back until sort of like 6.30, quarter to seven. So what I'm thinking I might do, instead of coming all the way home here, I might go into the city. The place we're performing is right by the city. So I might go into the shops and go try on some jeans that I've been wanting to try from Just Jeans. There's a couple of pairs that I've saved 
on my phone that I want to go try on in store because I always try jeans on in store if I can. It's got a funny body shape, it's really hard to fit with jeans, short legs, wide hips, small waist, it's like really annoying. Is anyone else like mashed banana on toast? It looks so incredibly unappetizing, but it is so yummy. Got myself coffee in my little cat mug. You can get this from YesStyle, by the way. They have it in black also, which I feel like I need so that I can have a matching set. <laughs> good morning! Good morning, oh, camera. Come on, good morning, because I haven't set up my new one yet. <laughs> in between the two operas that we had yesterday, the two shows, we had about three and a half hours to kill so I jumped on a tram and just whipped into town and I went to Just Jeans and I got myself two new pairs of jeans that they're, they're both styles that I was keen to get but they weren't the ones that I went in for so it was really good that I went into store tried on the ones that I'd like saved on my phone and decided that they quite weren't quite the ones I wanted and went with two different pairs that the shop assistant helped me with so I'm very excited me and Alex are just about to run out and have some brunch together so when I get back I'll try them on for you and show you in the mirror because very cool and I also got a little short sleeved white cropped t-shirt from Kukai that I'll show you as well we're going to brunch which is lovely we haven't been out for brunch in ages because we're trying really hard to eat at home more just for like health reasons and also money like we spent used to spend so much money just on food and if we spend like half as much money on food then we can spend it on other things like clothes <laughs> so yeah just getting ready to go out I'm excited have a brunch date with you, baby. Been a while. It's been a while. Alrighty, brunch was delicious. Alex has now gone off to his friend's place. He's going to do some playing on his horn there. It's really funny because I went into Just Jeans to try on a pair of mom jeans because I wanted something that was like high-waisted but still kind of loose like a boyfriend jean but the mom jeans were still so fitted around like my thighs and stuff they just kind of looked like I don't know they just didn't quite look right so she was like why don't you try a pair of dad jeans and I laughed so much when I saw them because they look hideous off the body but actually on they look quite cool so these are the dad jeans they look like literally just a pair of old like vintage jeans they're by Levi's so they were a little bit more expensive than I wanted to pay I was trying to get like say a hundred dollar pair they were 150 but just jeans always have this great deal where you get 50% off your second pair and since I was quite interested in getting like another pair of sort of skinny jeans something with a bit of like distressing or sort of wear look in them I got this pair for 50% off so these came down to only $50 because they originally 100 so together the two pairs were 200 so it makes them like a hundred a pair which I think is pretty good and then from Kukai I just picked up this little ribbed cropped uh, white t-shirt which I think will be nice to like layer underneath things I had one last year that was like v-neck with a little bow and I loved it a lot but white t-shirts for me really only last one season because they just get so discolored um, and just don't look as nice just because like sunscreen and makeup and stuff even if you wash them I mean I could try bleaching them but I'm just not very good at bleaching clothes I need to figure that out and I love the texture of it being a little bit more of a ribbed fabric I thought that was a bit different so these are the dad jeans on this is a size 26 which fits really nicely like around sort of the hips and stuff they're still a little bit loose in the thigh which I like because the mom jeans weren't they were like super tight all the way down the thigh and only slightly loose at the bottom so the dad jeans are just a little bit looser but they still fit kind of firmly through here the only thing about them is that they're a little bit loose on my actual waist because I've got a small waist compared to my bum and hips and stuff so I'm going to take that in just a tiny bit just so it fits a little bit more flush to my body but I love the way that they fit otherwise so they're meant to be like quite casual this is just them with some sandals and like you could totally dress them up as well with like a heel like something like a nude mule or just fully embrace the cash vibes and go with like a white sneaker these are the ones from Merchant they have a bit of a wedge in the heel so those are the dad jeans and then these are the skinnies that I picked up which will be a really great pair to wear if I've got a like looser sort of fitting top on or something and they have like a little bit of distressing but it's like not too much I just really liked the kind of 
finish on the denim, the way it's kind of like slightly bleached. Like it's a dark denim traditionally and then they've kind of slightly bleached it out and stuff. These ones fit really well around the waist because they're so stretchy. They're made of this full stretch material so they just like hug really well. So they thankfully don't need any amending. I really like them. I could do like yoga in them. They're so stretchy. I have about two hours until I need to leave for the opera. I've got one last show today at three o'clock and Alex is actually coming to this one, which is very cool. 